So today, Apple Music and Spotify are the two most popular music streaming services. And in this video, I'm gonna compare them in a head-to-head -head battle to find out which music service is the best one for you. I will leave links to both services in the description below so you can sign up for both of them and try them out. Now let's get right into this video. Starting off with pricing, just like last video, both services have the same pricing structures. They're both $9.99 per month for the all access individual plan, $14.99 per month for the family plan up to six people, and $4.99 per month for the college student discount. So based on that, they have the exact same monthly plans. However, there are some key differences to keep in mind. For example, Apple Music is available in many more countries than Spotify, so that's pretty much the decision maker right there if you reside in one of those countries. The trials to try these out are a bit different too. Not a huge deal, but it does make it a little bit easier to try out Apple Music. Another pricing difference is that Apple Music offers a secret $99 annual plan that Spotify currently does not offer. So you can save 20 bucks a year by doing that. If you're already an Apple Music member, you can drill down into your settings. I'll leave the full instructions below in the description below, but you can drill down in there and and change from $10 a month plan to $99 an annual plan. So you're saving 20 bucks a year. Now I'm subscribed to the $9.99 per month plan for both of these services while I'm trying them out. And I've noticed something, uh, Spotify, whenever Spotify charges me uh, every month, it's only $9.99. But when Apple Music charges me, it's like it adds in the taxes. So it's an extra 60 cents per month for Apple Music because Apple Music charges taxes. I don't know why Spotify doesn't, but that's just the way it comes out when I pay mine. So if you're in a similar situation, that's 60 cents extra per month, which is, you know, over the course of 10 years, hypothetically speaking, that's 72 extra dollars. You know, it doesn't sound like a huge deal right now, but I guarantee if you've ever been to the frugal subreddit, there are people out there who will, this will be a game changer for them. And they'll, they'll use Spotify just because it's 60 cents cheaper per month. So that's something to keep in mind. But the biggest difference when it comes to pricing is that Spotify still offers a completely free model. You know, it's limited and it's ad supported and it's only like shuffle only, but it does have that free option, which Apple Music does not have. Uh, the only thing that Apple music offers that's completely free is their Beats 1 radio. So that pretty much covers the pricing. Now let's move on and compare the key features of both of the services. So let's talk about the size of the music collection on each service. So how many tracks that they offer for people to listen to. So Spotify claims to have over 30 million songs on in their entire library of music compared to Apple Music, who claims that they have over 40 million songs. So when it comes to music collection size or the amount of songs available, Apple Music definitely has the advantage over Spotify. Next up is sound quality. So Spotify has the advantage here because Spotify allows you to choose between 96 kilobits per second, 160 kilobits per second, and 320 kilobits per second. And this is good because you can choose your streaming quality based on if you want to save cellular data, if you want to save on your data plan, while also being able to download high quality songs for the songs that you want to save. Apple Music doesn't have that advantage. They only stream in 256 kilobits per second, which is good quality audio for streaming, but it only it doesn't give you any options like Spotify does. So Spotify Spotify does have the advantage when it comes to sound quality because they do ultimately have higher bit rate for their songs if you're a premium member. Now, speaking of downloading songs, let's talk about offline listening. Now, both of these services offer offline listening. So you are able to download and save songs to your device and have them available when you're offline, when you're not connected to the internet. So both of them give you that ability, which is nice. Next up is library limit size. So this is the amount of songs that you're allowed to add to your music library. And this is where Apple Music has a huge advantage over Spotify because Spotify limits you to 10,000 songs added to your library. Apple Music lets you add 10 times that many, up to 100,000 songs to your music library. So this is something that the Spotify users have been upset about for years and it's, I can't blame them. This is the disappointing. I'm hoping Spotify will up their limit and match Apple Music's to 100,000 because right now 10,000 is just way too low as for the amount of songs and music out there right now. Next up is supported devices. So starting off with Spotify, Spotify is uh, more open. It's more cross-platform friendly. It's available for PC, Mac, and it also has a web player. It has Spotify Connect, which lets you switch between devices seamlessly. It works with a plethora of devices like Samsung Gear, Amazon devices, Alexa integration, PlayStation, Smart TVs, Roku, and many more. Apple Music is more of a closed environment like most other Apple products. It's compatible with PC and Mac, but it requires iTunes, and it does not have a web player 
player like Spotify. It's supported on Android, but it works best with iOS, has seamless integration with Apple TV, Apple Watch, Apple CarPlay, and the HomePod, which is Apple's new smart speaker. And of course, it does support Siri, so you can say things like, play the number one song from 2004, which is a really cool feature. So it does make a lot of sense to go with Apple Music if you're heavily invested in the Apple ecosystem already, but that isn't always the case. Next up, we'll talk about exclusive content, which is a big deal for choosing a music streaming service. The bottom line is that Apple Music seems to land more exclusive deals with big artists where certain albums are released to Apple Music first and then later to Spotify. For example, Drake did this with Views, Frank Ocean did this with Blonde, so if you're an Apple Music member, you get access to those albums before Spotify users. The most notable example of this in the recent past was Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift was only on Apple Music, so if you wanna to listen to her albums, you couldn't do that on Spotify. She wasn't on Spotify, but now she has come back to Spotify, yay. But in the end, exclusive deals are just a lose-lose situation for the consumer. I, I hate exclusive deals. I really wish there wasn't that wasn't a thing, but that's part of the business. Um, so you got to accept that and you got to let that play into your decision making when it comes to choosing one or the other. Now, both services offer exclusive content. For example, Apple Music has exclusive video shows like Planet of the Apps that are only available to Apple Music members. And Spotify has things like Spotify Sessions, which are studio and live recordings of a wide variety of artists. So both services offer their own exclusive content. It just kind of depends on which content that you want the most. Now let's talk about lyrics. Apple Music shows full lyrics of a song in the app itself. Spotify, on the other hand, has an integration with Genius.com, which shows some of the lyrics mixed in with fun facts about the song or the meaning of certain lyrics, but it doesn't show full lyrics like Apple Music does, and the Genius lyrics integration is only available for certain songs. You could use a free third-party app like Music's Match, and it will recognize whatever song you're playing on Spotify, and it shows you the lyrics in real time, which is cool, but I think Apple Music gets the nod if you want the quickest access to full lyrics of the current song playing. What about syncing your existing library to these services? So for Apple Music, if you already have an iTunes library full of music, it syncs it pretty effortlessly. And Spotify does the same thing. It will sync it as well. So if you already have an iTunes library, Spotify will sync it. It's just a little bit more complicated process than with Apple Music. And it doesn't integrate as seamlessly as Apple Music does with an existing iTunes library. So they both do it, but Apple Music just does it a little bit better. So let's talk about the radio features, which is something very subjective. It's, it's really a personal preference and it goes either way, but I'll talk about what I feel personally about these radio station features on both of these services. So radio stations created from artists are pretty similar on both services. It's kind of what you expect. However, Apple Music radio stations created from individual songs seem to be a little bit better than Spotify. It seems to play more new music. Spotify radio stations created from individual songs seem to play more of that artist of the song that the radio was created for from. It doesn't suggest as many new artists or songs as Apple Music does. And Apple Music, of course, has Beats One Radio, which is a popular feature that users love, but they also have these really cool on-demand radio stations from certain artists, so you can listen to music and also listen to commentary like a normal radio show. So even though I think Apple Music Radio is better, I do prefer Spotify's interface with radio stations because you can see the list of songs that it's going to play next. On Apple Music, you can only see the next song that's going to play. So both services have their pros and cons when it comes to the radio feature. Playlists are also subjective, so it really comes down to the user, but I'll tell you my experience and what I like. I think Spotify has a better selection and layout of hand curated playlists along with algorithm based playlists. And both services have a large number of playlists based on things like mood and feel or genre, but I think Spotify really gets playlists right since they have way more experience with it. But the two big advantages of Spotify playlists are daily mixes and discover weekly. Daily mixes are custom playlists of songs that you have listened to a lot with some new songs thrown in and they're automatically updated for you multiple times per week so it's a great way to listen to a specific genre of songs that you know you already like discover weekly in my opinion is the best way to discover new music that you've never heard before that you're almost guaranteed to like so it's automatically updated every monday and it's something that i can throw on and listen to anytime and i'll almost always end up saving a song to my library from the result of discovering it on my discover weekly playlist now let's change gears to the social aspect. Now for some reason, Apple as a company does not do social very well. The only social aspect of Apple Music is the connect feature that lets you follow your favorite artist. Spotify has way better social features. For example, you can create, share, and follow playlists made from any Spotify user who makes them public, which makes their playlist selection way more extensive than Apple Music. For example, if you search productivity on Apple Music, it doesn't give any results for a handmade productivity playlist, but if you search productivity on Spotify, 
Spotify, there are tons of playlists, some made by Spotify, but most created and shared by Spotify users. Another great Spotify feature is collaborative playlists, which lets you and your friends add songs to the same playlist. So Spotify definitely has the advantage, in my opinion, when it comes to playlists. So let's talk about the user experience on both of these apps. I'm using an iPhone 7, so that's what I'll be basing it on. Both app layouts are very similar with the menu at the bottom and the player bar on top of that, then the main window above that. Apple Music menu items consist of library, for you, browse, radio, and search. Spotify has home, browse, search, radio, and library. So they pretty much have the exact same options because we can assume Apple's for you section is the same as Spotify's home section. Personally, I think the Spotify app has a better design and layout than Apple Music. I prefer Spotify's dark theme and their overall design is friendly, allowing more items on the screen compared to Apple Music, which seems to like to showcase individual selections that almost take up the entire screen. I like how Spotify shows the number of monthly listeners for an artist. It's not a game changing feature, but I do like it and I do wish Apple Music had something similar or maybe even display the average rating for albums like it does on the iTunes app. Now, one thing I wish Spotify did that I don't understand why they don't do is, is show the featured artist info on songs. It's weird because some songs have that info, but most songs do not display who the featured artist is if the song has one. It's really annoying. Uh, Apple Music seems to always show the featured artist info on the song that's playing, which is what Spotify should do. Now, when you do a search on Spotify, the search suggestions are split into different categories like songs, artists, albums, playlists, podcasts, and even profiles instead of being one big list of suggestions like on Apple Music. Some people might not like this, but I think it's way better than Apple Music's search design and Spotify's search search algorithm does a good job at suggesting some of your most visited songs, albums, and artists. And with Spotify, you're saving a step because when you tap on a song in the search suggestions, it starts playing it. On Apple Music, to start playing the song, you have to tap the search result and then tap the song to play it. Now, both apps allow you to edit the cue of the current songs or playlist that you're listening to, which is good, but neither of the apps have the functionality that I've been wanting for years, and that's to tap on the artist of the song that's currently playing and have it take you directly to that artist page. Right now on both apps, you have to tap the album first, then go to the artist. It's not a huge deal, but it would definitely be a convenient feature to have. As much as I love about Spotify, their shuffle sucks. It's terrible. Their shuffle algorithm, I don't know what they're doing. Apparently, like when I listen to shuffle, I want a completely random order of my songs. Uh, with Spotify, they like to throw in, like they like to skew the results of your shuffle. They like to throw in some of the artists that you listen to a lot or um, artists that you have a lot of songs by saved in your library. Uh, they put those up front so you could be on shuffle on spotify and the first 20 songs could repeat like five different artists uh which is it's crazy i want something that is completely random and apple music does do shuffle better uh theirs is more random than spotify's is spotify does have some functionalities that i've grown to love that apple music doesn't have for example on spotify you can hold down on a song and it will preview the song spotify also has convenient ways to add songs to the queue or save to your library by swiping left or right on any song respectively it's these little details like this that just make the Spotify user experience better than the Apple Music experience. So after all that, what is the best music streaming service for you, Apple Music or Spotify? Uh, can you guess what I'm going to say? The winner is Tidal. Just kidding. Um, I'm gonna stick with Spotify. Uh, I just think that Spotify is much better than Apple Music for what I want to do. You know, even though I'm invested in Apple Mu or the Apple environment, the Apple ecosystem, I have a Mac, I have an iPad, I have an iPhone. Spotify, I just enjoy the Spotify experience much better. I like the playlist, I like the streaming quality, I like the cross-platform friendliness. Does that mean Apple Music is not for you? No, absolutely not. Apple Music has a lot of advantages over Spotify, like we mentioned in the video, but uh, when it comes down to it, I'm choosing Spotify. My best advice to you right now is to just sign up for the trial for both of these services. The link will be in the description below so you can try these out and find out which one you like more uh, and, and pick that one. And just keep in mind all the things that we went over in this video. Uh, and if you need to come back and rewatch the video, that's no problem. I encourage you to do that. It helps me out. Uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if it helps you out. Let me know what you're going to choose in the comment section below and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I will do more tech videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching. My name is Andy and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.